All right, so got a bunch of these Maxi Paw AG5 uh, sprinklers in the yard, and um, they've been going for about five years now. And some of them, the heads are, they're not wanting, they'll get hung up and kind of lock and hang and not rotate like they will. Um, and you, I can tell there's a lot of resistance in this head. Um, and before I couldn't figure out how to disassemble all this stuff. Like I couldn't see any seams, couldn't see any washers, whatever. So I was just buying new ones. Well, I decided what the heck, um, I'm going to play with one. So I took this one apart already, but I lost track of the order of the washers. There's some washers up in here. So I have another one that's been sitting on the shelf that I haven't taken apart. So I'm going to try and take it apart and pay special attention to uh, the order of the washers uh, and makes so, so I can put them back together right. So this is what you got to do. There's this screen in the bottom. You steal one of your wife's butter knives um, or a more appropriate tool if you have one. But that just pops out. You, there's four tabs. Uh, pop that out. And if you look down inside, probably not going to see, there's a 13 millimeter plastic bit on there. So I've got quarter inch extension. You can see it's spinning the head as I turn it. So hold on to that. Break it loose. Just pop the socket off. Get you out of the way. You can feel the head popping up. Okay. So let's see if I can do this. I'm, I'm just going to pull it up first. You can see the head that's loose. So there's a blue washer on a spring there. And I can already see sand and dirt and gunk in there. Um, so down in here is a white washer. Right, let's see. Let's try something. I'm going to put this in there if it'll fit inside. Okay. So I pulled it out alone. Uh, looking down inside. Let's just see if we can get them all to fall. I'm going to stick that back down inside so they all stay in their order. Okay. So there's a black rubber, a hard plastic and then like a gray rubber. That makes sense. So it seals on either side and some kind of plastic spacer. Um, so that's the order. And black went towards the head. So gray goes towards the nut. All right. And there's nothing else really to hear. I may push some water through there. Uh, and then here's the head. We got a blue. blue washer spring does it look like the orientation really matters um, and this plastic housing or sleeve I don't know if that really matters probably don't really have to take that off it just slides up and down on the car on this neck um, so what I'm gonna do is just get some damp rags I'm not I don't think I'm gonna lubricate it with anything but we're on a well, so there's a lot of sand. Um, so I think sand just gets up in these heads or it just collects around here and keeps it from wanting to spin freely. So that's, uh, I'm gonna clean this all up, then we'll throw it back in and see what it does. All right, so I put them in the sink, just rinsed all the sand out. And I've noticed on this one, the plastic is still really nice and smooth. Um, but this one, it has a lot of scoring. There must have been some debris or rocks or sand in there, even down here. Um, so I'm going to get some wet sandpaper and try and just um, take some of those ridges down. And we'll see. It's still spinning quite a bit better when I drop it down into the neck. But I think if I can uh, just smooth those edges down, it'll be uh, a little better. So we'll give that a shot. All right, this collar was sitting right there, so I just worked it off. Got some, just some wet high grit sandpaper. And 
and give it a little love. Mm, it feels better. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, but I don't see how it can hurt. Yeah, it's better. Try and get it up here a little bit. Okay. Might have some silicone based lubricant. Maybe I could put it in there. I don't know how long it would last. And maybe it will just collect stuff. I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm just going to go with that. They didn't put anything in there. Put it back together. All right. Got that sanded up. Just put this back the way it was. For this guy got to figure out a trick for stacking these up down inside of there. If I mention that's a 13 millimeter socket. Um, let's put you in first, push you down. No, you can't see in there. There's not much to see anyway. Uh, I'm gonna, I have these washers stacked up. I'm going to put it right in the hole with that extension. Oh yeah, they fell right around it. I don't think there's any way. Yeah, anyway, but they're, they fell around it. They're kind of sitting up a little bit, but I think once I put that, start the thread, it'll get pushed down. So, just drop that 13 mil plastic socket. See if I can get it to catch. Yep. There it goes. This wasn't that tight. I'm just going to snug it. Yeah, that definitely is improved. I don't hear the grinding, all that fun stuff. So I think that might have worked. Uh, we'll find out in a minute, so pop this screen back in place. All right. Awesome. Well, let's go put it in. See right. what happens. Got my handy little wrench. Get it put on. Pretend like I've done this once or twice. Those are stopping up. Readjust them anyway. All right. Sorry, that was our focus. But... There's the hole. And yes, I know the top is broken off of this guy, but isn't this where it's sitting? I don't really care. That's tight enough. I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah. Got some water in there. But it's definitely not hanging up and stopping at the transition points like it was. I'm gonna call that fixed. Now I just gotta replace the whole unit because it's all beat up by my mower. Thanks for watching.